Here comes everyone, the rain, the wind, and the much cooler weather for a lot of us. I've got all the details you need for the week ahead. Your forecast for the Caribbean and the Bahamas starts right now. This is Meteo Mundo. Hi friends, Rusty back here at Meteo Mundo. Good to see you on this Sunday, February the 18th. I've been following along. We've been watching this very large storm system, this cold front and all of the rain and the wind that'll be moving into our area as we move through early in the week. One thing I can almost guarantee is that you are having a better weather Sunday than I am. I am located right here, smack dab in the middle of all of that heavy rain here in Florida. It hasn't stopped raining in over a day and a half, 36 hours straight. Everything is either wet or flooded. And all of this rain is going to be moving into the Bahamas and Cuba. And it's already portions over the Yucatan and Belize and the rest of Central America. And it's all going to be moving south and east. So I'm going to get you prepared for it. We'll look at the timing as well. Thank you so much for liking the video. Thank you for so much for becoming a subscriber here at Media Mundo. Let's get started. So the first thing I want to do here is just going to zoom in a little bit here. And this is our live radar on this Sunday afternoon. And you can see how wet it is across Florida. Now, it's been very slow moving, okay? And the timing of this has been a little bit later than what I expected for the Northwest Bahamas. It's cloudy there. The rain has yet to set in, but it's going to. And so now the timing is going to be bad backed up a little bit in the Bahamas. So although it's coming in a little bit later on this Sunday, now it's going to stick around more into Monday and even early on Tuesday. And they could see some exceptionally wet weather here. Again, several inches of rain have already uh, uh, developed and fallen in Florida. And now on this Sunday afternoon, again, the clouds are thickening up. The rain beginning to move into places like Walker's Key and Grand Bahama, West End, Freeport, Lucaya, towards Bimini and Marsh Harbor there in the Abaco area, and of course, New Providence and Nassau. It's all coming, guys. And this line extends deep into the Florida Straits with some heavier rain across the western portions of Cuba, and this is all going to be working its way in. So as we get into uh, late Sunday afternoon, but especially evening and overnight, it's going to get wet potentially a little bit stormy as well, but certainly very windy. Right now, the winds are still out of the southwest, uh, but we're going to have some very strong northwest winds. Now, one reason why, and I mentioned it in yesterday's video, that this has been such kind of a slow-moving system is we need to get a little bit of kick of mid-level energy, and we're seeing that. It's very clear on our visible satellite imagery. You can start to see that start to punch through. Look at that right there. So now we're going to get some progression. Now we're going to pick up some forward speed, and this rain will be moving to the south south and to the east. And you can see how thick the clouds are on the visible satellite imagery down into places like the Yucatan and into, um, uh, and into Belize and Guatemala and areas like that. So if I switch over here to the enhanced visible, uh, excuse me, the enhanced satellite imagery, you can see again, there's the rain and it's very steady right now for places like Cancun and Cozumel and then more rain kind of on and off in Belize. It's going to be overall a very wet day for the Yucatan and Belize and Guatemala in portions of Honduras. Uh, still some showers there even as we get into our Monday morning. And then this begins to work its way into places like the Cayman Islands and into Jamaica as well. So again, the progression is beginning to get going here. Uh, it's been sitting over the same areas the last day and a half to two days, but now it's going to start to move back fairly quickly to the south and to the east. Elsewhere across the Caribbean, again, most of you are enjoying a much better day. We still have our easterlies through the Lesser Antilles, uh, a few isolated showers. It's been very windy in the ABC Islands, but again, there's some big changes coming, of course, as we start to see this front move in and these winds converge with some higher rain chances, and we are going to see some surf and sea conditions kick up a bit as well. So, the first thing I want to do here is take a look at the wind gust product. I think this is the best way to kind of show you how these winds are going to be developing here. And we'll talk about some maximum of winds and again, how that's going to impact the rain that we're going to see, the cooler weather, and then kicking up some of the surf and sea conditions as well. So the first thing I want to talk about is where I think we're going to see the wind maximum, and that is going to be in the Bahamas. Again, we are going to have at least this mid-level low try and develop here. So as we get into today and tomorrow, there are gale warnings that are currently in effect for the Bahamas. And now, because of the timing of this being a little bit slower, this gale warning extends all the way through our Monday, and we could have 20 to 30 knot 
southwest winds the remainder of our Sunday, and then eventually those winds will turn off towards the north and to the west as well. So I can actually put on the uh, wind vectors here real quick and then switch over to the wind gusts as well. So give me just one second to do that here, and we'll kind of take a look at two different uh, products in one. So there we go, get the wind gusts, you get the wind vectors, that's gonna let you know again exactly where the winds are turning. So again, for today, the winds will be out of the south and west, but as we get into tomorrow in the Bahamas, the winds are gonna turn out of the north and northwest. So a complete shift in our wind direction, but the winds are going to stay exceptionally strong for this time period. And then they'll stay out of the north, obviously, as the low pulls away, and that's gonna drag in some colder air. I'm talking about temperatures that will be in the 60s for morning lows through a good part of the Northwest Bahamas, not just one or two areas, but a lot of us. I mean, I can tell you right now here in Florida, we're sitting in the mid 50s, that's how chilly it is. So this is a very potent system, some colder air behind it. You can see the wrap up of that wind coming through places like Marsh Harbor and Nassau and Walker's Key and the Freeport areas. Again, timing of this, the maximum kind of later today and into tomorrow. Zooming this out on a wider scale, and putting this back into motion, the winds will be very breezy up and down this front as it comes through, okay? Again, south winds to begin, winds then turning out of the northwest. We've already started to see that turn in places like Cozumel and Cancun. We'll get that wind shift later today, tomorrow in Belize. That wind will also push into the Cayman Islands tomorrow and then flip around into Jamaica on Tuesday. So those are the first areas that we'll see, obviously, the rain and the wind and the cooler weather. And because they're a little bit closer to that area of low pressure, they have the most prominent changes coming your way. Those areas that I just mentioned, but still this front pushes south and east with some rain and wind and they'll be impacting a vast majority of our area. So uh, looking at places like the Cayman Islands and Jamaica real quickly for us here, again, at this point in time, we have a south wind. Now again, the last potent front that came through piled up some wind on the northern coastlines of these islands. So keep that in mind. If you live in these areas, drop in the comments section below. Let me know what you're seeing as far as rain coming up later. And obviously if you have any tidal issues, with these strong northwest winds and you can see that push of wind coming in nice strong north winds as we get into our tuesday uh, and again this is not the rain these are just the wind speeds and they'll be still fairly strong and again just kind of following this front the north winds are able to make it as far north and east as places like Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and the northern side of the Leeward Islands. And I mentioned this again, now we have a convergence of winds. We have our east to southeast winds through most of the uh, Lesser Antilles, and then a northwest wind up here. And any moisture that kind of gets caught up in that convergence of winds is gonna lift up. And there's the opportunity for some rain. I don't expect it to be as heavy as widespread as the last significant front that came in last week, but you can see just how deep uh, into the uh, Western Atlantic these strong winds go, and again, uh, we'll have gale conditions through Bermuda as well as that low spins up basically right over the island. We could have some 30 to 40 knot winds across the island there. So that's kind of a look at the wind. Here's how that wind is going to impact surf and sea conditions. For the Bahamas, we have a gale warning through tomorrow, through late Monday. Easily winds will be southwest today, shifting to the northwest tomorrow, 20 to 30 knots but even higher in exposed Atlantic waters. Small craft should remain in port. And you want to be very cautious, even in sheltered locations. We have a smattering of high surf advisories for portions of the Lesser Antilles. That includes Barbados, Antigua, and Barbuda, mainly kind of on the northern sides of the islands, uh, but also a little bit on the eastern side of Barbados, and then maybe eventually on the west coast as well. But again, at this point in time, it's just a high surf advisory, but you should still use caution. And this could linger through portions of the Leeward Islands for most of the week ahead. I don't think it's we're not going to get a, a high extreme of surf and sea conditions in this area, but it'll be kicked up a, li a little bit enough to at least cause some advisories or some cautions in those areas. Friends, remember again, if you want some detailed forecasts, uh, you can also become a member here at Media Mundo. I do a member exclusive forecast video, get into a little bit more detail in a couple of spots. Always got you covered here in these main videos, but it's just really a way to help support the channel. And you can do that for just 99 cents a month. You also get custom badges and emojis. And we thank our members who have already joined. Just just hit that join button right now if you want to support us here. We appreciate you. Okay, back over to the big story. 
let's look at the rain because obviously this is another big component of what's going to be happening here over the next several days. So I'm going to show you the GFS model first and then we'll look at the NAM model. Now they're in very fairly good agreement here. There's just a couple of areas I want to point out in the NAM model as well. Again, we get a more progressive system starting tomorrow, meaning we're going to pick up some forward speed. That's good news because we're not going to keep the rain over one area too long, but there's a wide breadth of rain that'll be coming in with this front. And as I've mentioned, the first areas is going to be impacted by this will be in the Bahamas. So let's get into it right now. We're going to switch over to the her model over here real fast and then loop this up. And again, We've already taken a look at what's happening with the rain right now. We're going to take a quick look at what's going to be happening uh, with the rain in the future here. So I'm just going to disable a couple of the layers here real quick. And uh, if you haven't yet already, do me a favor, click that like button. You know, I appreciate it. I always like to take this little respite here as I get these models loaded up to say that. If you haven't, again, appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. Look how wet it's going to get, okay? Everywhere across the Bahamas and the Turks and the Caicos and a lot of Cuba going to get a fair amount of rain. Again, it'll be a little bit faster moving here as we get a little bit of a progression of the forward speed, but still the opportunity for a couple of inches of rain in a couple of spots. I think Monday is just basically an indoor day here across our area. You can see that rain moving in here as we go deeper into our Sunday. And again, for some of you, we've already had a little bit of rain, especially up towards you know the western sides of Grand Bahama and Walker's Key and Bimini. But eventually this all just pulls through. Could be some heavier downpours. I can't rule out a rumble of thunder. I'm not concerned about any severe weather, but there could be some gusty winds. But, you know, obviously we inherently are going to have some 20 and 30 knot winds. So just very breezy and windy conditions will be accompanying these showers. And then as we get into our Monday afternoon, again, everything just pushes farther off towards the south. So down towards Georgetown and Arthurstown and the central Bahamas, they're going to get wet. We'll still have some lingering rain, although it won't be as significant up in places like Abaco and Eleuthera and Andros and Grand Bahama. New Providence obviously included in that, but you can just see here again that that rain just continues to push off. Now, obviously, the rain tomorrow will come with a driving north wind. So everything, when I put this in the motion, we get this first line moving in from west to east, and then everything currently cues around that low, and you can see that spin, and so all the rain comes out of the northwest eventually as well. Okay, so that's going to be happening in the Bahamas, and we'll take a look at the potential rainfall totals coming up. Obviously, right now, this rain currently extends back into the Yucatan and to Belize and Guatemala. And this will be with you through at least portions of tomorrow. All right. It'll get better as we get into our late Monday and on Tuesday as well. So again, I'm going to take just one second here and uh, switch the timing of the model. I'm going to pull it back out five days, which will get us to the 22nd and then loop this back up. So again, the most, uh, the, the highest impact of this system for these areas is today through midday tomorrow, and then the rain beginning to break apart a bit. But it's kind of just a crummy day, and it will get cooler here. We're going to see some temperatures dip into the 70s as we get into daytime highs. So for my friends in Belize City, Cancun, Cozumel, again, uh, not fantastic. This is tomorrow, or excuse me, this is this afternoon. And then as we get into tomorrow afternoon, you think, oh, the rain's completely gone. No, there's just enough moisture to pop up a few more showers. It'll be relatively drier, and we'll look at some of the rain chances coming up as well. And again, all of this shifts off off to the uh, to the south and to the east. So the next up is going to be places like the Cayman Islands and my friends in Jamaica. Now, as we get into these areas, the rain does break apart a bit. The rain chance is still going to be high for these areas, but to see significant rain totals, probably not. I think a half inch to an inch of rain in a lot of spots. It's going to be a good chance for showers. And again, you're going to really feel the change because we're going to have a strong north wind. We're going to have some much cooler air coming in. But as far as just getting hammered with a few inches of rain, I just don't expect that to happen with this. And we can see this here on our future track for my friends in Jamaica. Again, as we go through today, it's an isolated shower. Late tomorrow, this is about 5 p.m. on your Monday. Now we start to see this moisture come in with those northerly winds. 
And now we see a fair amount of green on the map. So again, I'm not really forecasting one area to get more rain. We could get more wind action on the northern coastline, Ocho Rios and Montego Bay, even on the west coast towards Negril. And we could still even see some tidal issues for places like Kingston and Portmore and Old Harbor, places like that. But you notice, again, this is a couple day event for us here. Main impacts will be late tomorrow through our Tuesday. And then as we get into Wednesday, the rain begins to push off because of course we now get the drier northerly wind out there. Then we just shifted a little bit farther off towards the east and the next stops for this front and the rain will be the Turks and the Caicos, places like Hispaniola, Haiti and the Dominican Republic, Santiago de los Caballeros. We could certainly see some downpours there on the northern side of the Dominican Republic. Even Santo Domingo and Punta Cana could have some scattered rain as well. And this will then carry over into Puerto Rico and the northern side of the Lesser Antilles, where again we're not going to have the flood threat that we had with the most powerful uh, front that came in more than a week ago, but we will have some moisture in play. And again, on the GFS model, it's pretty clear to see. It's pulling in the easterly breeze here. We get the confluence of winds coming in with the northwest, and now we just get more moisture to play with. So Anguilla and St. Martin and Antigua and Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis, and then you know uh, our friends in the U.S. and the British Virgin Islands, St. Thomas, St. Croix, St. Uh, uh, St. Thomas, St. Croix, St. John. Tortola, all those areas will just have a better chance for rain by midweek. Now, this is the GFS model, and it at least shows you some rain in these areas, but I do want to show you real quickly our NAM model. And again, when I look at things behind the scenes, and there's a few things I want to point out on differing models, I'll do just that. What you're going to notice on the NAM model is it's a little bit more aggressive for some rain in this area at least as far as the amounts. It's not going to be significant rain, but just more downpours, and especially in Hispaniola. Again, Santiago de los uh, Caballeros, and Santo Domingo, and Punta Cana there, and even Port-au-Prince, Haiti. Better chance for some showers here on the NAM model. The timing of this is going to mainly be midweek, Tuesday, kind of Wednesday time frame, and maybe even into Thursday as well. And even Puerto Rico, San Juan and Ponce, will have a little bit better chance for some showers. So there's a little bit of play in the models and how much moisture actually works its way this far towards the south and to the east. Now back over uh, to the other model here, and we'll loop this back up and we'll look at the rest of the Lesser Antilles and the ABC Islands as well. Uh, this is going to be the driest part of the forecast. Again, one reason why is we do not get the winds to turn out of the north. We don't get the wind confluence in these areas. We basically stay with our easterlies. Now that's going to drive in some shallow moisture and a little bit of rain for places like Dominica and St. Lucia and St. Vincent and the Grenadines and Barbados, but not a lot. Still going to be pretty warm and humid here, upper 80s, lower 90s for daytime highs in these areas. And it's the same scenario for Grenada, Trinidad, and Tobago. Again, our winds never turn out of the north. We get the east to a southeast breeze. Several of you have mentioned that it's just a very windy time of the year in the ABC Islands. And boy, oh boy, is it right now. Again, Aruba, Bonaire, and Curacao have had some wind gusts well over 40 miles an hour the last couple of afternoons. It hasn't spelled a lot of rain in this area as of yet. So what do the total precipitation numbers look like? We take a look at that, zoom back out, and again, just kind of snapshotting this, and I'll go out over uh, the next five days. And so there we go. So what does it look like? It's pretty simple to see that the heaviest rain is gonna be in the Northwest Bahamas. And again, a couple of spots could get a few inches of rain. Right now, we're kind of talking about maybe just in the offshore waters for Walker's Key, where we get a bullseye of up to four inches of rain, but you can see across Grand Bahama, Freeport and West End and High Rock, an inch to an inch and a half, I think easily up to two inches in Walker's Key. That's certainly not out of the question. Uh, I think we could even get more rain in Bimini, Alice Town, one to two inches, absolutely a part of the equation. And then the, again, the rain is significant for this time of the year, but it's not flooding or anything like that for places like Dunmore Town and Nassau. But the entire Bahamas and the Turks and the Caicos will get showers, nice little maximum rain there in the Florida Keys, nice little maximum rain through portions of uh, Honduras and the Nicaragua coastlines there, Belize City about a half inch of rain, nice little maximum again down towards San Jose, portions of Panama and Costa Rica. And then again, not as much rain for the Lesser Antilles, uh, this being the GFS model, you're not gonna see as much rain in Puerto Rico, but still over a half inch in a couple of spots. And again, these areas I'll be monitoring for additional potential 
potential higher rainfall totals. Uh, Puerto Plata there on the northern side of the Dominican Republic uh, could get a little bit more rain than the rest of the island. Do really, really quickly want to go back out here and go back to the what's happening now situation because I don't think I showed you this earlier, but you can see the temperatures. Again, look how cold it is in Florida right now. I'm wearing this not just because. I mean, it, it's chilly out there, but you can see the temperatures start to drop. Cancun is already down to 72 degrees. So again, for the northwest side of our area, this is what's coming. I mean, Cancun is rain soaked in at 72. It's just around 72 right now up in um, the uh, Nassau area there. And you can see, oh, excuse me, Nassau is actually at 82 and it's Freeport that's at 70, 72. So again, the cool weather is on the way as far as the winds go we'll take a look at that real quickly as well because why not and again the winds are absolutely freshening up these are some strong winds on the western coastline of cuba up to 40 miles an hour there we've had some wind gusts through portions of the yucatan right around 30. the winds haven't picked up yet as far as gusts go in the Bahamas. And again, there's the ABC Islands on this Sunday afternoon, reporting some winds in the upper 30s to near 40 miles an hour. And from time to time, our easterlies are giving us some wind gusts right around 25 miles an hour. Era. The, uh, era, <clears throat> excuse me, the reporting station showing that 25 mile an hour wind gust is on the island of Antigua. Then we covered it, friends. Let's talk about the rain chance in your area. I think this is the last thing I wanna talk about here again. We'll break this down over the next three days. For the Northwest Bahamas, 70% chance later today, 100% chance tomorrow. Winds still strong on Tuesday out of the north, a few showers. Belize City, wet today, ending early tomorrow, isolated showers on Tuesday. Jamaica, not a lot of rain today. Your best rain chances Monday afternoon through Tuesday afternoon, 50 to a 60% chance. No rain on the board for the Dominican Republic today. Isolated rain chances through Tuesday, but then higher rain chances for the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico on Wednesday and Thursday. That's something I'll be tracking through the week. And then for my friends in Barbados and Trinidad and Tobago with our easterlies, again, could kick up some surf and sea conditions. I'll be monitoring that, but just a low end chance for a couple of showers here over the next several days. You know, you can follow us across all of social media, friends. We appreciate you on that. You can find us on Instagram, TikTok, X, Facebook. You got a picture or video that I'd love to show on our YouTube videos, mymediamundo at gmail. Dot com. Of course, if you have a specific question about the forecast, drop in the comments section below. I would just simply love to hear from you as well. Drop me your nation's flag. Let me know where you're viewing us from. I always appreciate to see how wide of an area that we cover here at Media Mundo. It's fantastic. And again, thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I'll keep you up to date. The wind and the rain, it's coming, friends. I'll see you soon right here at Media Mundo.